first of all, one of the things on top of everything else is there has to be an underlying crime, right, Sean? People are saying, well, what is it? I'm saying, well, what underlying crime did Donald Trump commit? He didn't commit any underlying crime, and he wasn't charged with any underlying crime. He wasn't charged with federal election violations, even though that's not the jurisdiction of the DA. There's nothing here, but I want to get into something here. Donald Trump is a historic figure, or they wouldn't be doing this. They wouldn't be doing this. There wouldn't have been a January 6th committee. There wouldn't have been a Mueller criminal investigation. There wouldn't have been two phony impeachments. Listen to this, America. There wouldn't have been a warrant, which is inexcusable, an unconstitutional warrant, in my view. An FBI SWAT team sent to his home. There had been, in the course of the last few months, five grand juries controlled by Democrats. Over what? You would have thought this man took money from the communist Chinese. You would have thought his son took money from the communist Chinese. You would have thought he's the criminal of this thing. What exactly did he do? So they had to concoct all these phony crimes because he didn't do anything. So the Manhattan DA should be disbarred, not only because of the way he campaigned, because you know what? This is crap that a pre-law student shouldn't even put in front of a damn judge. That's number one. Number two, Letitia James in Albany looking for crimes and then goes after civil suits. She's another one who should be disbarred for the way that she campaigned. The legal profession is an embarrassment right now. The judges are a humiliation right now. They need to get their ass in gear and get their act together and get this country back instead of giving a rubber stamp to all this behavior. That's number one. We have a Democrat attorney general in New York, a Democrat DA in Manhattan, a Democrat DA in Atlanta, a Democrat appointed by the Democrat attorney general for the Biden administration in Washington, D.C. What's going on here? This party wants to change the Supreme Court. They want to change the Senate. They want to eliminate the filibuster rule, eliminate the Electoral College. They're attacking the First Amendment. They want to eliminate the Second Amendment. They're violating the Fourth and the Fifth Amendment. You know what this is? This is tyranny. Now, Donald Trump is a historic figure. You think if he was Mitt Romney, they'd give a damn? No. No. You think if he, frankly, was a Bush that they'd give a damn? No. Look at Trump today. He gives his speech at Mar-a-Lago. This is a man who's committed to fighting these abuses, who's committed to fighting these Marxists, who's committed to fighting the tyranny. He talks about securing the border. They don't want to secure the border. He talks about sound money. They don't want sound money. He talks about building up the military. They want a woke military. He backs the cops. They hate the cops. And I could go on and on and on. Look what he did to our economy. Look what he did with energy independence. He was supposed to be Barack Obama's third term with Hillary Clinton, and he stopped them. And this is payback, and they're not going to give up. We, the American people, need to stand behind this guy. There's not another Republican that I can think of who can fight back and fight back this way. I can't think, I like others. I really do. I think some of them would be great presidents. But at this time, at this moment, with these American Marxist movements taking over, with Soros funding these prosecutors, crime up the wazoo, he's the guy, and they know it. And let me tell you something else. Add one other thing. What Mr. Bragg has... China yes, is... He's brought look an at what Ch Yeah. Look at what China's doing. Look at as they try to fill the void well, left of course. open by America not leading the free world. Look at what's happening right before our eyes. Look how dangerous that is and the alliances that they're creating. And let me say something else while I have a minute or so left. This DA in Fulton County, Atlanta, is another hack. The idea that a president picks up the phone and says something to the effect, find me some more votes, and you're going to say that that's a crime? Every precinct worker, every ward le leader, I have no doubt that she's picked up the phone and said the same thing during her elections. That's not a crime. And this jerk in Washington, D.C., who they dragged back from The Hague, who has a horrendous record of overcharging, he's bringing in service people and Secret Service and all the rest over documents matter, over documents matter in Mar-a-Lago. Hey, we got documents. We went in and searched, found more documents. Really? So how the hell is that obstruction? The documents are still there. Nobody destroyed them. Nobody sold them to the enemy. 
Why are you acting like this is the crime of the century, for God's sakes? And then January 6th, they're trying to dust off old Civil War statutes and Confederate statutes to apply against a former president of the United States? The Democrat Party is trying to destroy the Republican Party, and they're going to succeed if this works. The Democrat Party is trying to choose the Republican nominee. The Democrat Party has been hijacked by Marxist radicals. That's what this guy is in Manhattan. That's what they are in Atlanta. That's what all these fools are. And that's what's going on in this country right now. Victor Davis Hanson is correct. We are in a revolution. And this guy, Donald Trump, is standing up to it like very few can. And they are trying to destroy him. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to make a martyr out of him. Because there's nobody else that could stand up to this and withstand this day in and day out the way he does. They're going to make a martyr out of him for liberty. And I'm done. That's it. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.